gonna just mix all this color into the bowl with the other because my hair's so thick and I want enough for when I do do it. So I'm just emptying out in the bowl, try and get all the last drops. Yeah, the developer reached the four mark since we put two ounces in, so it's equal parts. Ooh, that's so pretty.
I'm so excited to blow dry my hair, you guys. This is looking so pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, let's blow dry and see what it looks like when it's dry. But I already love it. happy I did this. This is super pretty. It makes me want to try a bunch of different other colors of red, but I'm going to style it here. Um, I got my straightener, a bigger, um, I think this is about over an inch um, curling iron. So I'm going to style it, make it all beautiful, and yeah, here we go. I'm going to be sharing with the styling of my top favorite hair products. This is not an advertisement. It's literally me just sharing my favorite. Now, this isn't going to be for everyone's hair. This is more for people who do have coarser hair like I do. But I'm going to be using this Amica um, Block Aid Heat Defense Serum. And I only go a little bit at a time because with serums, you don't want to put too much in your hair. So you can always add more if you want to. I'm going to work at the ends because that's where it's mostly really important for me. So I keep my ends nice and healthy. And then I'm just going to get it all nice and through. And I like to pick up the half of the hair and smooth it through like that. And then the other side, same thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this. And I love how like it got lighter in the front and darker in the back because it's the way I did it. I started from the back and then worked my way up towards the front. I knew I wanted my front to be lighter. So the more um, time it has, the more richer the color will be. But um, yeah, like I always like to start from the back when I want my front to be lighter. I'm going to start straightening my hair. Now, um, I'm with the straightener, I'm literally just going to be smoothing out the kinky parts of my hair. <laughs> and this is a great straightener for coarser hair. And I like that it has um, a gauge of how hot or cold. I don't really like the straighteners that only have one heat setting. It's not my favorite because that's where other people's hair can snap off. So definitely want to keep that in mind. All right. 
Also, when you are doing curls in your hair, if you do not have much texture hair, I wouldn't put a serum in your hair first because it will smooth out your kugels too much. But since my kugels are very strong and have like a willingness to curl, I can do that. But if you don't, I would use a hairspray. This is a great hairspray for anyone. I absolutely love. Yeah, if you have fine hair, I would not suggest using serum. Just go straight to the hairspray. And then when I'm hairspraying, I'm smoothing out the end. So I want to go in the direction I want my hair to lay. If you spray up, it can cause more um, flyaways because it's scooting the hair directly. So you want to spray it where you want your hair to lay. Then I want to make sure I get underneath. Now that I've done that, I can easily comb through my hair, just soften up the hairspray. All right, now that my curling iron's ready, I'm just going to take sections and give my hair some wave to it. I'm also thinking like maybe I should put bangs in my hair. I'm not for sure about that because I do like the look underneath my hair. I think it's so pretty. Like, so if I pull half of this up, like how pretty is that? So I like the idea I can pull my hair up and it has this like beautiful undertone underneath. Gorgeous. So I don't know if bangs will be good for, to be able to show that off, but maybe it will, who knows. The nice thing about this kind of curl iron, it only takes a few minutes to do your curls. So it's very easy. <laughs> your hair and close your eyes I've opened my eyes before while doing that thinking very confidently there's no way <laughs> all right I'm giving you a less little spritz so this curls the whole all right here we are I absolutely really like this style I feel like it's very beautiful. It's going to have a beautiful fade to it too, which I'm really excited about when it does start kind of like losing its color and kind of going back to my original blonde color. This is really fun. It's very subtle too. That's why I'm like excited to try more red tones because I feel like this one is so subtle that I could go any direction after here. I have done bright neon, like orange red. That was really fun a long time ago. I never filmed it, but took photos of it. I should have filmed it, but I wasn't really sure about what I was doing. But now, hopefully you guys get to see more content from me. I'm really excited to be back on YouTube and thank you so much for following along. If you've been an OG on my page and channel, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Film. If you're new, welcome. I hope you subscribe and like this video if you do like it. And let me know in the comments below if you think I should do things. I don't know. We can give a little vote on that and see which direction I should go. Have a wonderful day.